How do you define music or art? Mike Kirchhoff has the story of a noise doctor who will challenge your preconceptions of music, your expectations of people, and perhaps challenge your ears a bit too. People have an extremely wide reaction to, specifically to noise music. That can touch on everything from absolute revulsion, hatred of this, to being extremely curious, to thinking it's funny, to, um, you know, thinking about who I am as a person. And I think what I would say to them is that if, if you're listening to this music and it's your first time, that those reactions are valid. This is music. Experimental noise music performed in a River West practice space by Milwaukee's Peter Woods. It's this approach to making music where anything and everything that makes sound can be an instrument. Here's a track from his new album, A Waste of Red Meat. People will go see a Jackson Pollock in a museum and be like, great, that's a thing that exists in the world. And people will go see you know, movies by like David Lynch. But then they hear music like this and they're just like, that's not music. Music has this space that's supposed to fit into people's lives and it's not a place that I fit. Woods also just released this new box set on his record label, FTAM Productions. It's called Live from the No Judgment Zone, mapping the sonic ecologies of southeastern Wisconsin's planet fitness locations. It's four cassettes, six and a half hours of gym noise, including a couple sets on the bench press. But if we really break music down to its core, we can kind of use that John Cage um, definition of just music as organized sound. And if the core is just organized sound, then I've organized some sound for you. Is this type of audio or is this moment in my life, like is it important beyond this? And by recording it, I'm kind of saying that, you know, this is, this is like an important part of my life that's important enough that I'm gonna share it with everybody. Exercise is an important part of his life. He shares that in other ways too. He does a weekly live stream he calls DIY Peloton. He sets up a stationary bike, usually in his basement, but for our story, we set up at the Jazz Gallery Center for the Arts in River West. He starts a live stream and shouts motivation at whoever is watching. So let's push ourselves. This is the moment. Reach inside yourself and find that strength. So, so yeah, you like tune into it and it's weird, but like if Peloton wasn't this cultural thing that existed everywhere, everyone would think that would be totally weird too. Peter's performances and music and comedy are far outside the norm. And as he points out, experimental and noise are in the title, but there is one thing he does not experiment with. The one thing that I will say is that I don't do drugs, and so you have to think of another reason for me to be making this music. Maybe you've been thinking this at home. What the heck is wrong with this guy then? You, you did the story about the, the driver's license, right? You know, with, uh, with that picture. and. The way that that circulated in the world, I thought, was really fascinating to me, right? This is Peter Woods. He took his ID picture with a half beard. Woods, who is an experimental music producer, among other things here in Milwaukee, got it taken at a Milwaukee DMV last week. Initial reaction from all these people that don't know me and are like, this person is on meth. And then the reaction to that is, you know, people that do know me coming in going, uh, he doesn't do drugs, and also, he went to Harvard. That's right, this is Dr. Peter J. Woods. He has a doctorate in philosophy from UW-Madison, a master's in education from Harvard, graduated from Marquette for undergrad, and right now he works as a researcher at MIT. And so this this understanding of like what I'm supposed to be because of the social clout, because we expect these sorts of things. And if we want to talk about like the way that whiteness plays within that, like the reaction to that is, you know, I'm not living up to that social cloud, not living up to that, um, that social capital and the cultural capital that I have. So there's got to be something wrong with me. There's got to be something incorrect with me. And it goes both ways, right? If you hear about, you know, the sort of social capital and the, uh, the privilege that I have that I'm going to be in this specific realm and then the music undercuts that, and it can go the opposite way too, right? You, you see me as a performer for the first time, you expect me to be, you know, a, a certain kind of person. Like you'd expect this 
to be like what my house looks like or something like that, but it's not, you know? And so I think it's just this strange thing where I found a couple of very strange hobbies that I'm very interested in. If you are ready to challenge yourself musically or just want to experience Peter's passions for yourself, we have a link to some of his music and performances at CBS58.com.